December 1997, we started. Well, 21 years ago. This, this we were the very ones to start on security. We were. It's always nice to meet new people, interacting with staff and students, and that's what we're here for. Um, folks to help, you know, ask for advice, things like that. Um, keep them safe. Yeah, keep them, keep the people safe, yeah. On a daytime, you're doing like a lot more with the students and public. Uh, we have daytime tasks we have to do, which is like cash runs and um, but say a lot of it is a lot more high visibility. High visibility talking to Being staff and seen. students. Mm -hmm. Whereas on the night time it's a case of looking after the buildings, any thing that's happening on campus that you pick up on camera, mm. any drunken students or any people that look a bit suspicious, keep an eye on. I think we might be seeing as just people kind of walk around and you left the window open or perhaps you've let your car window or whatever and, and we'll sort of give you a reminder about that but we don't now. We're going to be far, far more proactive. You know, for instance if we identify an area we'll sort of maybe speak to student services or the student union about how we issue a problem. We, we, we use quite a lot of departments so we actually go hand in hand with quite a lot of departments. We get a lot of rough sleepers. And on a cold night, it's, it's often quite difficult to, to get someone who's after a warm, basically, to, to move on. And that's not a particularly pleasant part of my job, I enjoy. Sometimes, um, there was a lot of students where, and I might be generalising here, um, maybe they were a little too trusting. Kind of someone would knock at the door, is, is such and such, and or maybe, like for instance, Woodlands used to be a, a notorious area for that. Someone would buzz the buzzer and shout, look, I'm here to see John. Steve, Chris, there might be somebody called that in there. Yeah, he's in, yeah. And some students would shout the number, the digital code to get in. Pizza deliveries was another one. Rather than coming down for say from the second floor, there would be a question of, yeah, oh yeah, I'm in room such and such, yeah, the code is such and such and such. Mm. You know, it, it's one, it's a, just a little bit of a reminder, you know, that there, that there are unpleasant people out there. This new safe zone app, it's a lot safer for students now. Yeah. If you've got an emergency, you said I like looking for the security's phone number, you just press the emergency button on the app. Ping, we've all been issued iPhones and it pings on our iPhones so we know if there's a problem. Comes up with the person's name, telephone number, um, also if they need a first aid, just click for the first aid, it pings on our phones so we can get there as soon as possible. It's pretty self explanatory there. So obviously you've got the first aid request, you're not feeling very well, you'll hit that. You're generally want to ring the control room for a security issue, you'll hit that, and obviously that's the emergency one. So if you're having a building on your own, for instance, mm -hmm. and somebody comes you're not sure of, you press the emergency. What that would do would send a signal to the security control room with your location on there, where you are. We, we welcome students ringing us up with a problem. We welcome students passing information to mm -hmm. us because that might be things that we don't know. You know, students seen such and such happening. Do you know about this? We didn't know about it, thank you very much. And now we we'll take that on board with a corporate line to a patrol now because it's been reported that, that there may be a problem here. So we, we welcome all input from, from students. Uh, we do escort duties, if there's any students a bit weary about walking home, we can escort them to the hall's residence. Mm -hmm. um, but a lot of students don't know that. Any so estates problems, any any health and safety issues in the accommodation that you've seen, for instance, you might think, oh, wet them under and report that, if it's like a faulty heater or whatever, you let us know straight away, or let the wardens know straight away, then let us know and we can get estates and we can get someone out as soon as possible. So I might not have to wait a couple of days, things like heating, for instance, electrical problems, things like that.